This is 24 karat gold, and it has a rich and brilliant yellow color. Well, today I'm going to be transforming it into green gold, but I've never tried this before, so I'm really curious. Just how green can it get? Well, let's find out. So what exactly is the magic recipe to turn gold green? Well, there is a key component here, and that is silver. By mixing gold and silver together in different proportions, you can create various hues of green gold. So the first alloy I'm going to experiment with is a simple one-to-one -one ratio, 50% gold and 50% silver. Once the gold and silver have fully melted together, they have created an alloy, which in this case is roughly 12 karat green gold. It's pretty interesting, but you can see that the crucible itself already kind of has a greenish hue to it. So I'm really curious to see what the metal will actually look like. After having poured the metal down into a cylinder ingot mold, let's open it up and see for ourselves. And it's looking kind of silver, like it doesn't really look green at all. It's hard to tell, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a brush finish to this green gold so I can better see the color. I also figured it'd be a really good idea to have a control. So this here is a 100% silver ingot, and I'm going to place the 12 karat green gold right next to it. Yeah, I mean, maybe a, a kiss of green? A whisper of green? Uh, just a little green. For my next attempt, I'm gonna to try to make green gold by measuring in volume rather than weight. I'll take two containers with the same amount of water, then slowly add gold to one and silver to the other until the water reaches the top on both. After drying them off, we end up with 34 grams of gold and 18 grams of silver. This shows us that gold is much denser than silver. This volume ratio gives us around 65% gold and 35% silver, or roughly 16 karat green gold. Let's go ahead and see how this green compares to the previous alloys. And yeah, that actually looks green. That looks great. I quickly discovered that green gold is very easy to bend, which might not make it the best alloy for the jewelry that I'm normally making. So now we're gonna be introducing a couple more elements to this alloy, and it's an 18 karat green gold. Not only will we be using gold and silver, we are also going to add copper and zinc. The exact recipe for this alloy is 75.5% gold, 20.75% silver, 3% copper, and 0.75% zinc. Zinc has a much lower melting point than the other metals, so watch here, you can actually see the zinc melt almost immediately. Followed slowly by the other metals that have a higher melting point. Everything is being melted together and forming a nice, beautiful green gold family. And I am kind of obsessed with just how cool this looks. It reminds me of like something in the solar system, something planetary. It's time to pour this liquid planet down into the ingot mold. And I'm going to compare the color between the 16 karat green gold and this 18 karat green gold recipe. And wow, that's actually a really beautiful color. It certainly looks a lot more rich than the 16 karat green gold. The thing though that's kind of playing tricks with my mind is it's looking more yellow compared to green. To get a sense of just how green this 18 karat green gold ingot is, I want to compare it to an 18 karat yellow gold ingot. Sort of like I had a control on the silver side, I think it would be really good to have a control on the yellow gold side. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna quickly pour this 18 karat gold ingot and we'll see if that green color really pops. You can really see the difference now between the yellow and the green. That's really cool, like it really is green gold. Carrera Gold with their green gold recipe, they said, this is pushing the limit to how green you can get, and this is the deepest coloration possible in the higher carrots. 
Yeah, but I want to know, is it really? So I set out to find more green gold recipes out there. I searched older books and older publications and online forums. And one common theme I found, especially among the older green gold alloys, is they all use cadmium. There's just one problem. Uh, cadmium is extremely toxic, which means uh, thankfully it's no longer used in jewelry today. But for the sake of this video, I have here a stick of cadmium and I will be attempting to make a darker green gold. Now, of course, I'll be taking the proper safety protocols, which first and foremost include proper ventilation. I also will not be making any jewelry with this green gold. Instead, I will send it directly to the refiner when I'm done that's appropriate to handle such things. And would you look at that? This green gold has the deepest coloration of them all. It looks really cool, but honestly, I don't think we missed out on too much by getting rid of cadmium jewelry. In fact, I think I actually prefer the warmer hues of the green golds that don't have any toxic cadmium in them. There's just one kind of problem. It might not look super green to everyone. In fact, I took the ingot home and the first thing my oldest son said was, that doesn't look green. <laughs> and you know, he's kind of right. By itself, the green gold ingots, if you showed them to someone, might appear yellow. So I truly believe the best use case for green gold in jewelry is to pair it with another metal, like a white metal or a yellow metal. And stick around, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing later in this video. But first, I really wanted to clarify something. From a metallurgy standpoint, you really only have so much wiggle room to get those different green hues. That is, in fact, if the piece is actually gold. So if you see any other jewelry out there that has a more intense green look, it's not going to be gold. For example, this green ring is made of resin. This is silicon. This ring was carved entirely from jade. This really cool ring features green glowstones. This jewelry is actually oxidized copper and is very similar to what happened to the Statue of Liberty over the span of many years. A ring made out of epoxy looks really cool, but isn't gold. This is straight AI or Photoshop. More Photoshop. This ring is Damascus steel and anodized titanium. And that process is really cool because you can actually get a whole range of different colors. This ring is actually 14 karat white gold, but it's been plated with green rhodium. So as you can see, there are a lot of creative ways to get green color in jewelry and art. It's just not gold, and that's totally fine. But at the end of the day, I just love working with gold. So let's make a ring.
fitting all the pieces together is incredibly satisfying. I also prefer to have the green gold have a matte finish, so adding a light brush finish will do that perfectly. I thought it'd be really cool to add some intrigue to this ring, so I'm just going to add a vintage inspired pattern on the outside of the ring using my laser engraver. I really love this machine. I'm going to add my logo on the inside as well as the YouTube original logo and the 18 karat stamp. I'm also going to hand engrave some lines in between the laser pattern. And this is the end result. I'm super happy with how it turned out, like that green really does pop so beautifully off the yellow. If you'd want to purchase this ring from me, please see the link below. I've never actually made a piece of green gold jewelry before, so I'm really happy to be able to check that off my bucket list. Let me know which color I should try next. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Stay golden.